Hey, it's Citrus. I've got some redstone to show today. Uh, it's a checker. I know this would be used in usually unloading arrays or first item type unloading arrays. Um, and it takes boxes and makes sure that they're prepared to be put into it. Uh, I've got some text boxes to share that. Um, start with just some items in a box. In a box with a single item, which is bad, it'll deny that. An empty box and a box with an unstackable in it. Now, this isn't clocked or anything. Works on a pulse basis. So, activate it. We'll place the box, attempt to take two items out of it. Uh, and if it takes two items out, then uh, it will return them to the box and send it out. Uh, you'll see this still has 60 items in it. Now, if I put the box in with a single deep slate bricks first, place the box, attempt to take two items out, but fail because deep slate bricks doesn't match the second item type, which is the echo shards. I'm left with a box that only contains echo shards and a single item that is the deep slate bricks it removes. If I throw an empty box in, since zero is less than two, obviously, it's going to deny the box. And same thing, unstackable, doesn't match the second item type. So, I'm going to get a box with the unstackable removed and the unstackable itself. Um, this isn't full hopper locking. FireB was nice enough to wire uh, some locking logic. It's not connected together, but uh, it works. Um, I don't know the speed, it's untested. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. It'll be used in the high tech array, which obviously FireB does not want you seeing. Um, you'll see it see soon enough, I suppose. And that's it. See ya.